Kenya's Gold. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa kukubali kujiunge nasi tofauti sana leo tutazungumza lugha ya Kiingereza popote ulipo na mimi nimeshikilia kalamu yako karatasi andika tekeleza badai kwa imepusha titiga saa 12 Afrika Mashariki sawa na saa 12 saa 11 Afrika kati basi kuna mengi ambayo tumekuandalia kweli kweli uh, ni naye Clement Tulezi Clement Tulezi welcome to Kenya's Gold Thank you. Uh, last time we met uh, was Iftex June this year yeah. you still look the same what is the secret <laughs> uh, I'm aging graciously uh. um, yeah I do a, a number of things that you know just keep me uh, up to scratch on what I need to do mm -hmm. um, you make sure that you always putting your body into a stress mode okay. with exercise mm -hmm. um, like today I've already done close to 16 kilometers mm -hmm. this morning mm -hmm. Um, and then you drink a lot of water. Okay. Uh, you make sure that uh, anything you that stresses you is either you have a solution mm -hmm. or you leave it to God. Okay. And it's an easier way of, of living. <laughs> so <laughs> with that, you age graciously, you know, over time. And also, you can uh, walk uh, in the flower farm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, a typical flower farm will take you uh, quite some hours for you to walk mm -hmm. around. If you go to flower farms that are a hundred hectares. Mm. You probably need um, uh, two weeks to walk around to complete the farm. <laughs> so whenever I'm on the farm, it's mm. always a joyful period where I just take a walk, okay. and uh, it adds to you know my stamina and mm. yeah better health okay. over a long period of time. Yeah. So, sir Clement Tulezi, CEO of Kenya Flower Council, welcome very much to Kenya's Gold. L let us discuss the fact that uh, you have a role as KFC. What do you do actually at KFC? Uh, Kenya Flower Council is the business membership organization for growers and exporters of cut flowers and ornamentals mm -hmm. uh, from Kenya. Mm -hmm. But we also have membership from those who do not grow, mm -hmm. but who support also our sector mm -hmm. in terms of either goods or services that they provide to our sector. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the other hand, we also have a certification scheme that we run. Mm -hmm. uh, we own and run as uh, on behalf of you know the growers and exporters mm -hmm. uh, from Kenya because we are a highly sensitive industry uh, to the extent that if you are not certified, then it's not easy for you to access mm -hmm. the international market. So we are almost four organizations into one. Mm -hmm. So the first one is basically as a business membership organization like any other. Mm -hmm. The second is that we own a scheme. Mm -hmm. The third, we run that scheme. And the fourth, we are also what you call a certification body. So we are sort of four organizations into one, mm -hmm. each of them working a bit independently. Mm -hmm. But overall, we always find all this coming together in terms of the support that we offer to our members and the industry at large mm -hmm. and how we link then what we do here to the market okay. um, so that everyone really understands the position of Kenya mm -hmm. and the uh, growers exporters are also able to continue accessing that market mm -hmm. uh, with a, a message that we are doing the right thing to be able to continue selling our flowers okay. into the international market. Okay. Let, let us talk of certification. How, how do I come in when I want to be certified as a flower farmer or exporter? Um, we have a bit restricted our certification, and for you to come in mm. for certification, then you need to become a member of Kenya Flower Council. Mm. Uh, you subscribe to what we believe in, mm. and secondly, then we subject you to a number of rigorous checks mm. on various aspects that are needed in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. We are among, I think, the two best um, certification uh, you know, certification in, mm -hmm. in the world in what we call the Floriculture Sustainability mm -hmm. Initiative, basket of standards. So we certify you on what we call the social side, the environment, mm -hmm. but also good agricultural practices mm -hmm. together with governance. Okay. So those are elements that the market is very keen on. Mm -hmm. And we make sure that anyone we certify, we have done due diligence 
to assure the market mm. that whatever produce that is coming from Kenya, from that very producer, has met all the requirements that are needed in the marketplace. And with that, then the market can be able to accept you uh, to be able to sell, especially the European market where we sell close to 70% of all our produce mm. is very, very keen. Mm. The other markets are also following. Uh, mm. we, can, we have seen the markets also in um, even the East now are looking at certification okay. in the Americas where we are also recognized as Kenya Flower Council. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so certification is a, is a, is a crucial part of our business. Mm -hmm. And so with that then from the start, from the very beginning, the formation of Kenya Flower Council, okay. we actually started off with certification because we knew that matter certification, and especially when we talk about sustainability, would be a major issue for us going forward. So from formation of Kenya Flower Council in 1996, we started off with certification and up to now we have been running uh, certification across all our members uh, that are growing and exporting from Kenya. Okay, you mentioned something to do with uh, the flowers uh, export to Europe. We are ranked number four actually. Uh, how do we then solidify our position uh, in other international markets? I think it's, it's basically it's creating understanding of how we grow uh, the crop um, because you have to maintain what is actually needed in the market uh, from the word go. Mm. So for us, we think that if we start uh, then educating everyone what we do right from growing, mm. all the way when we look at the supply chain, all the way to the market, the kind of product that we have, then the market will start appreciating mm. it in a different way. Okay. Uh, that is one. So it's the product image mm -hmm. has to be what is required Secondly, is that we need much more investment into the sector. So new people coming in to invest and those who are already in expanding, mm -hmm. you know, because any, any business is about volumes. Mm. So it's important that we continue increasing the size of the industry mm -hmm. right from uh, growing so that we can compete favorably, mm -hmm. uh, say, with countries such as Colombia. Actually, Colombia is doing two times what uh, <laughs> Kenya produces. Okay. So we have to up our game in terms of how much such as Colombia. Actually, Colombia is doing two times what uh, Kenya produces. Okay. So we have to up our game in terms of how much we are able uh, to produce. Mm -hmm. Number three is that we have, it must be easier for anyone to invest and be able to grow uh, <coughs> in their business. Mm -hmm. You know, the ease of doing business has to be there. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we do that, then it's easier for, to have more people coming in and those who are already in expanding because it's easier for them uh, to do business. So those, those factors are really, really important when we look at how we can be able to grow and be able to, uh, to compete internationally. Okay. We, have, we have examples from other countries, what they have done. Mm -hmm. um, Colombia is much older than us, probably is an industry that is much more, much more mature. Mm -hmm. uh, about 50 years of, of doing this, we are just about 30 years. Okay. But those lessons that they have gone through, I think we have access to it. So okay. we know the journey they have traveled mm -hmm. and we are able to look at them and say, yeah, these are something we can, we can quickly adapt okay. and be able, uh, be able to move. Netherlands, of course, is much, much older than, than we are. But when we look at all factors, I think the growth of the industry mm -hmm. in terms of production will be much more on the south than the north. So countries in the south that have better uh, environmental uh, and climatical conditions like Kenya, uh, Colombia, uh, probably Ethiopia and, uh, and Ecuador are likely to be the countries everyone will be focusing on in terms of the growth going forward than coming from the north because of certain inherent challenges they have that have to do also with uh, you know, uh, labor, energy, and many other factors that may not enable them to continue producing the way they have done. So we have an opportunity for us to double the size of, of this sector in the next 10 years. That's what we believe. Mm -hmm. But certain factors must be put in place for, for us to walk that journey. If that happens, then we see ourselves really growing and being able to, uh, to compete. Okay. We can't do it alone. Of mm -hmm. course, we need government. Mm -hmm. There are certain areas where we need government. I've talked about the ease of doing business. Um, we also uh, look at uh, how we promote ourselves in the marketplace. This is where we need, we need government. When you look at regulation and uh, bilateral trade with, uh, with uh, other countries, we need government to come in and negotiate 
um, on our behalf. So those are elements that will really help us to really to grow. So we have a possibility of really growing. Uh, we believe in Kenya, we have really perfected the art of, of okay. growing mm -hmm. uh, flowers. So technology and other things that are needed, I think we are okay. When you look at our cold chain system, is is super among the very best in the world. So we have an opportunity of really growing as an industry with the support really coming from, from government. We can be able to get there. Okay, but there, there's something that you mentioned about uh, us becoming number four. Is there a way that we can be much uh, competitive compared to even Ethiopia uh, coming to the international market? Do we need sensitization? We already, in terms of size, we are double Ethiopia mm -hmm. um, at the moment. Mm -hmm. But we, we also appreciate that our formidable uh, competitor. Mm -hmm. So we don't want just to push them aside and say, oh, yeah, they can't compete us. <laughs> they can, of course. Yeah. But w w we believe that uh, educating the market is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Because you, when you have a product, um, anyone who wants to do business is about focusing on, on the customer. Okay. So for us, the customer, uh, especially the florist and, um, and uh, the supermarkets mm -hmm. uh, become very important in our, in our business. Mm -hmm. Them really understanding, especially the quest around things that we, something we call sustainability. Mm -hmm. Sustainability is basically um, how ethical we are in our business, mm -hmm. the way we take care of our people, you know, the workers that we work with and the communities we work around. Uh, looking at how we maintain the environment mm -hmm. and making sure that we can continue to grow um, this crop or this product every day and we, we can do it in, in another 100 years plus. Mm -hmm. So the, the market is very keen on that. But I, most of the time, the things that we do here, uh, they do not, that message really do not, do not get to the market. Or sometimes it gets there but distorted or the market relies on things that were written you know, many years ago, okay. yet the industry has really changed. We have adopted sustainability in our industry in a big way. If you look at a typical farm, you know, the way we manage water, mm -hmm. the way we manage our energy, uh, the use of fertilizers, um, chemicals or pesticides, the way we look after our workers, a lot has changed, mm. but this message sometimes does not really get to the market. So a lot of sensitization, a lot of education, a lot of uh, telling our story uh, needs to go uh, into the market. And no one will tell, us, will tell it except we do it ourselves because we understand our position much better than anyone else. So these are, these are things that we need to put in place. Mm -hmm. It needs resources, it needs reinvestment, it needs a press, our presence there um, in many of the places where uh, discourse or discussions are being held on uh, the cut flower trade. We need to be there, our presence needs to be there, our um, foreign missions needs to help us to drive some of these messages. We need to create materials that will go to the market and tell the story in a better way. Okay. Um, we can be doing so much, but mm -hmm. so long as we are not telling it mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to, and we are not hard enough mm -hmm. uh, in the marketplace, then we, we may not be as competitive as we would want to. So sensitization is important and telling the story okay. of how we do this. Uh, right from grow, uh, growing all the way to the market becomes very important. I'm sure uh, someone, an exporter, is watching, and they are, the biggest question they would ask themselves is, what is required of me to export a quality flower? Um, quality flower, there are certain parameters that are needed. Um, number one, anyone who wants to get here, mm -hmm. they need to know that Number one, for you to be able to sell, you need, you need volume, you need the right kind of flowers that are needed, you're very, very specific. Uh, you need variety of flowers. You need a certain length, you need a certain size of the flower, you need certain colors. Um, you need to look at all these elements that uh, are important for you to be able to grow that quality flower. You need to market you know, that flower, in, you know, put it uh, forward and say, this is, this is what, I, what I have. Mm. So it's, it's a, lo a combination of many things for you to say, yes, I have a really quality, quality flower. Mm. But what is important is for you to understand your market. Mm. Every market has uh, its own needs. It has its own um, aspirations. It has uh, its unique 
uh, way in which it looks at flowers. There are certain flowers that will find a market elsewhere that you can't find in a different market. There are unique customers. Today, we are dealing with a very unique customer. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya, we call them the, the Gen Zs. <laughs> uh, they have very unique um, uh, needs. Test. Yeah, when they, they, yeah. they test, exactly. When they're looking at a flower, mm -hmm. they, they want a flower. At, uh, many years ago, mm -hmm. a flower was basically, if we have a bunch of roses, mm -hmm. they call that a flower. Mm -hmm. Today, they're looking at variety. So you have one bouquet mm -hmm. that probably has two or three roses mm -hmm. and a whole array of other flowers from, from wherever. Mm -hmm. The way they're bunched together, the way they are mixed together, the length, the colors, the whatever is changing. Okay. So you have always to understand mm -hmm. uh, these um, dynamics mm -hmm. uh, because if you continue uh, growing, as uh, we were doing many years ago, then you are likely to lose that kind of, of customer or clientele. So you have always to be keen. And this is where we come in also as Kenya Flower Council. We come in really to go to the market, study a bit of the market and come back and educate our growers here and exporters that this is the trend. This is what is actually needed in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. If we have an opportunity of meeting florists or meeting um, supermarkets, they are also having habits that are changing. So we have all to distill that knowledge mm -hmm. to the growers, uh, exporters as often as we can mm -hmm. so that we start tailoring uh, all that we do here to actually meet the needs of, of the market within that time. So a lot, a lot changes. And for you, uh, I would say that anyone looking, uh, watching is that, yeah, it, it's, it's meticulously done mm -hmm. uh, for you to survive in this, in this industry. Mm -hmm. You have, you need, you need probably half of your time knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Then the rest is investment. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think that you have investment alone and you don't have knowledge, mm -hmm. it's likely, it's very unlikely that you will succeed. So you have to invest in understanding the knowledge around this because the growing of cut flowers is, and ornamentals is, is very complex. If mm -hmm. you go to a typical flower farm, you will understand and looking at the processes from A to Z, you will understand that indeed it's very complicated and you really need to be embedded uh, in it to understand uh, how to grow that quality flower. You've spoken beautifully about uh, the flower industry, but I know there are challenges facing the industry, myriads of course, but we are coming to talk about that after our first commercial break. Asante sana mtuzumaji kwa kutu ufuatilia kupindi kipindi cha Kenya's Gold Kipindi Mbacho kina kufunza mengi kabisa kuhusiana na ukuzaji, ukulima na vile vile mengi ambayo na jitokeza kama changamoto ambazo zipo tunazungumza na Clement Tulezi ambaye ni afesa mkumtendaji Flower Council na bila shaka tunachukuma pumzi kuya kwanza tukreja ya tazungumza nae kabisa kuhusiana na masuala na changamoto zilezopo katika sekta ya mawa